And I knew the rabbit was gonna be injured because it hit like like a Mack truck. It was big, it was like, okay, with the tail part, it was like this big. And I knew the rabbit was gonna be injured because it hit like, like a Mack truck. Or wings and got a rat. Yes, it was on the menu, but not in the way you think. For the first time, we are getting the story behind this shocking dinner. NBC4's Rick Montanez live outside of that restaurant where it all went down and where that rat came down. Rick. Yeah, Robert, this surprise dropped right out of the ceiling onto this woman's menu, she says. And she tells us the manager claims construction at this shopping center attracted the rat here. But whatever brought it, that rat certainly wasn't welcome at their table. No one inside this Westchester restaurant expected to see this large rat, let alone on a tabletop. And yes, witnesses say it's still alive in this picture. And I knew the rat was going to be injured because it hit like, like a Mack truck. It was big. It was like, okay, with the tail part, it was like this big. Alicia Norman says she hadn't even ordered when she heard something overhead. You could hear something come down and then plop it lands on a table tonight inside the buffalo wild wings we spotted maintenance crews while not certain it appears they were checking out the ceiling everybody was staring because we were all in shock because nobody believes that a rat fell from the ceiling in buffalo wild wings <laughs> norman on vacation from texas says she requested a manager who came right over to help so he took two plates and then they just picked it up and dumped it in a bag Ew. It was terrible. While grossed out, she's not angry. She says the manager took care of her bill to compensate for the lunchtime fallout. And of course, we reached out to Buffalo Wild Wings employees, referred us over to a spokesperson who we've also reached out to, but we have yet to hear back. We will certainly let you know what they have to say when they respond. Can you imagine what she had was typhus, a disease born from rats and fleas. They are running rampant in ever-growing piles of garbage. The NBC4i team has been tracking the epidemic in Los Angeles. The numbers are staggering. One of the cases inside City Hall. Here's investigative reporter Joel Grover. A veteran city official has now contracted typhus, a disease the public health department has been saying was mainly hitting the homeless population. But now workers in downtown L.A. and beyond are clearly at risk, and they're calling on the city to control the filthy conditions that are fueling this epidemic. Mounds of garbage pile up on a downtown L.A. street. Garbage that draws rats, which harbor fleas. Fleas spread the typhus bacteria when they bite humans. And now their latest victim is Deputy L.A. City Attorney Liz Greenwood. It felt like somebody was driving railroad stakes through my eyes and out the back of my neck. Three months ago, Greenwood, a veteran prosecutor, began experiencing horrible headaches and high fevers. Her doctor tested her blood and found she was infected with typhus. Who gets typhus? It's, it's a medieval disease that's caused by trash. Piles of trash like those on Saris Avenue, which we questioned the mayor about four months ago. This is a breeding ground for typhus. That is unacceptable to me, and as mayor, I'm going to make sure that that is changed. After our story aired in October, the city did haul away the trash on Saris Avenue and launched more frequent cleanings of streets in Skid Row. The area now known as the Typhus Zone. But four months later, the garbage is once again piling up on Saris and all over LA. This is the city of Los Angeles. Estella Lopez represents businesses in part of downtown LA and is worried that the typhus epidemic is only getting worse. You can't solve this until you hit the cause of it. And the cause of it is that you still have these mountains of trash. And the latest numbers from the state health department show a record number of typhus cases in LA County in 2018. At least 124 people and more than 80 percent of those cases occurred outside downtown LA. Do you think the city is doing enough to stop the outbreak? No. Deputy City Attorney Liz Greenwood thinks the city should fumigate all city buildings in the downtown area for fleas, including City Hall East, where she works, and City Hall. The city has already fumigated parts of nearby LAPD headquarters that have been plagued with fleas, and it shut down and fumigated LAPD Central Division, where several cops were bitten by fleas, according to this veteran officer. Are cops afraid of getting typhus? Of course. 
Of course, yes. It's not just homeless folks. But the city told Greenwood it doesn't have the resources to fumigate City Hall East, where she says hundreds of city employees who work there and thousands of citizens who visit are at risk of getting typhus. I am concerned about going back to work and getting this again because I thought I was going to die. We asked Mayor Garcetti's office why they haven't requested that City Hall buildings be fumigated for the fleas that can carry typhus. The mayor's office didn't answer our specific question, but simply sent us a statement saying, since last fall, there's been a comprehensive effort to improve cleanliness and protect public health in the Civic Center. NBC4 is committed to shedding light on L.A.'s homeless epidemic with our Streets of Shame series. If you see an issue that needs to be addressed, please email your story to tips at NBCLA.com. And I knew the ride was going to be injured because it hit like like a Mack truck. It was big. It was like, OK, with the tail part, it was like this big. And I knew the ride was going to be injured because it hit like like a Mack truck. And I knew the ride was going to be injured because it hit like like a Mack truck. And I knew the ride was going to be injured because it hit like like a Mack truck. It was a big. It was a big. It was a big. It was a big. It like like a Mack truck. It like like a Mack truck. It like like a Mack truck. It was a big. It was a big. It like like a Mack truck. It like like a Mack truck. It like like a Mack truck.